Good evening, bonsoir, good afternoon, hello to everybody, and welcome at SCORE for this uh, SCORE review. This week is normally the Monte Carlo week. It's an old tradition in our business. I don't know if it's the best, but we like it. Instead of being with you on the Riviera, we have you today connected from all over the world, and for some lucky ones with a mask in Paris. Today, we will talk to you about the art and science of risk, which is what we do at SCORE. And we'll focus more precisely on the art. We have this evening Jean-Philippe Colin Neven at the piano, on the Steinway, which we have acquired a few years ago and which we like. And we'll take you through the art of what we do, through nine stories, from experts, cat modelers, engineers, artists, our people doing our business. And through these stories, we'll take, through, so we'll take you through some imagination, a bit of creativity, and hopefully a good moment. As far as I'm concerned, I'd like to introduce myself. I know some of you here in the room. There are many more on the screen which I do not know. And uh, I have taken a new role just under three months ago as a new CEO of SCORE. And at SCORE, we have a long tradition of making our leaders accessible, approachable, in direct contact with our trading partners. And this is what we are looking to continue this evening. So I'll give you a few stories about myself, trying to get to, for you to know me a little more. And uh, you know, we all have our own CVs, our own resumes. We often put very glossy stories on them. We look good. We have a lot of successes. But I find that the defeats, some of the surprises, some of the accidents, and some of the failures are often much more interesting and telling about the people. My private life is fairly classic, I would say. I succeed a larger than life chairman and CEO, and still I will hold my own values and my own personality, which is you know, as unique as everyone else believe it is. So when I uh, took on my new responsibilities, I was surrounded by a communication consultant to prepare myself. One of the first questions was to say, Laurent, if we do web search, can we find anything compromising about you? I was, I was very sorry because my, my life is as boring as it gets. So I told him, you know, you're gonna be disappointed. And after a little bit of digging, they came up with a couple of pictures. One of them, which might you may think that I have been a Dutch footballer in the 1970s. But seeing that, I was okay with that. I remember it, that's 15 years ago. When the press started talking about me, there was a, um, an article describing me in the French press as the ideal son-in-law. I showed that article to my parents-in-law. My parents-in-law are British. They're hardcore Brexiters. I can tell you that the nature, the ideal nature of our relationship is long gone. So they really fell out laughing when they saw that article. So I guess the number one lesson this evening is being good terms with your parents-in-law. Now, if we get closer to the business, our business, reinsurance business, reinsurance is about contingencies. Contingencies is what could have not happened. It's an accident, often it's a catastrophe. And my presence here today with you has actually a lot to do with accidents and perhaps catastrophes. And for sure, there are more reasons for me not to be with you here tonight than to be with you. There is a, um, a Netflix series at the moment going on. It's called Designated Survivor. Uh, and you have Kiefer Sutherland acting there. The White House blows up and he is the designated survivor to succeed the president when in fact he was not entirely planned. So I'll take you through a few accidents which uh, I'm gonna show you that I'm lucky to be here with you tonight. The first accident goes back to March, 2011. I had joined SCORE just a year before, after 10 years in banking. And I got a bit bored of banking, of finance, and I had started working for Denis Kessler, our chairman and CEO at the time, as his, we call it, advisor. And uh, one year after joining, I got married, and for our honeymoon, we had planned to go to China. And the date, of the plane takeoff was the 11th of March. 
And you might remember that's the date of the Tohoku earthquake and tsunami. Uh, I had planned not to take my mobile phone or anything, and it didn't occur to me to change that plan. So I left, leaving everything behind me. And coming back, I did sense a little bit on, of uneasiness in the office. And um, Denise's assistant told me, you know, we've told him that you are calling in the office every day, supporting the teams, working. So Denis very kindly pretended he believed her, and we moved on. So I guess the second lesson here tonight is do disconnect and do build a strong team around, around you on which you can rely and who can really back you up when you don't perform as much as you should have. The second accident is of a different kind. The second accident was end 2017, when my wife was diagnosed with a potentially uh, very serious illness, life-threatening. It triggered in our family very awkward discussions. Uh, we have four kids, so if you make the math with the honeymoon, uh, the eldest was six, the youngest was two. And basically our discussions were on a total change of life. And the question was, how could I make myself available for the family? And, um, and I reverted to my initial love, if you wish, which was teaching. And I restarted, this might be new to some colleagues tonight, I started preparing competitive exams to become a university professor. I was hesitating between philosophy and French literature. And that was really my new goal, to kind of take those exams and, and change career. A couple of weeks later, my boss at the time, Victor Peigné, called me in his office and said, Laurent, he had a very deep voice. Would you be ready to step up at SCORE? Because we were having some plans for you and the executive committee of the group. And I was having discussions at home of a totally different nature, kind of life and death. So my answer was no, uh, the immediate answer to my boss. And, um, and actually, evening after evening, discussing that with my wife, we thought that actually life is stronger. Life has to be stronger in a catastrophic event. And if you don't carry on, you give death a stronger chance. And so we decided together that I would change my mind and change my decision and reverse it, which I did. Uh, my wife got lucky, she got cured. And uh, I experienced a very exotic life of a executive committee member. So I guess the lesson number three is life has to be stronger. Life has to carry on, whatever happens. The third and last accident, don't worry, actually is very recent. Uh, our chairman and CEO, Denis Kessler, announced a couple of years ago that his succession plan would uh, start. And I decided to throw my hat in the ring. I don't know if I was the underdog, but I was still certainly not the preferred candidate. I was probably the most non-CEO of the CEOs. But regardless of that, I went for it. If anything, I went a bit further than I thought I would and I ended up number three in the, in the race and lost. And I was okay. I came back to my job, happy in it, and carried on. Up until mid-May, uh, I had had my first uh, COVID jab in the morning and had planned uh, the afternoon to drive with my family to uh, Normandy, a few hours drive from Paris. When I got a phone call from Denis saying, I want to have lunch with you today. I said, Denis, uh, I can't, I have plans this afternoon. So, Laurent, I want to have lunch with you today. So <laughs> the plans changed. And we started lunch saying that, he basically went straight to it saying that my application from nine months ago had been accepted by the board that very morning. So lesson number four, expect the unexpected. Now you might have noticed I have given up being an academic, but I still like giving lessons. I will finish on one thing is that um, we said that Napoleon wanted his uh, generals to be lucky. I am lucky. I am lucky to lead an organization like SCORE. I'm lucky to lead the people you're going to meet tonight telling you their stories. And I'm lucky to be with you tonight. Thank you.